Hey guys, welcome back to Frontend Hero. This evening I just want to share with you a little script um, I found quite valuable in a recent project. It's called Scroll Detection and what it does, if I scroll down the page, it will hide an object such as a header and if I scroll back up it displays it. So it's it's kind of cool if you want to hide a header if, you ha if you're limited by space. Um, and yeah, it came in quite valuable for a recent project and um, I want to show you how I created it and the script I used. So here we go. So here's the library I've used. Um, it's called Scroll Detection and it's by a guy called Mario Vidoff. So thank you very much, Mario. Um, it works in all the browsers I've tested in and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. Okay, so we're back to basics now with our page and if we scroll, the header scrolls. So what we have to do is make the header fixed to start off with. So we pop into our CSS file and we target our header and we give it a position of fixed and attach it to the top of the browser window. When we refresh the page, we'll see the header actually stays put, which is great And when we scroll, but obviously there's a bit of an issue here uh, because we've taken the header out of the flow of the document, the content area and sidebar have basically moved uh, to the top of the, the body tag. So what we want to do is pop into our CSS file and target the main content area, which contains the content and sidebar and give it a padding um, of 150 pixels to the top. So if we look here at this area we've just um, played with and padded to padding to, we'll see that um, there it is there and it all looks fine. Now we need to play with the JavaScript, the library. So first off, I'm going to target the header and give that a name of, yeah, header. And there we go. Okay, so now we're going to use the scroll detection library uh, settings, uh, which is scroll detection, I think that's right. And we're going to give it some options now. Okay, our first option is scroll down. And yeah, there's a few different ways of doing this. Um, I just chose to add classes, excuse me, and remove them because it's probably just easier and more efficient um, to use CSS to uh, hide the elements, sc scroll them up and down. You could use um, you could use fade ins, fade outs, or any any an, any multitude of animation um, features. But this works for me, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> So in header, we're going to add a class of hide, simple. And we're going to use the second option called scroll up. And we're basically just going to remove that class. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So, okay, great, Work, works first time. So if we scroll down, we look at the header here, um, scroll down, we see it adds the hide uh, class. And if we scroll back up, it removes it. Uh, that's great, but it doesn't really do anything at the moment. So what we need to do is pop into our CSS file, um, copy and paste, the header tag and add the hide class. Um, what we need to do 
is give it a padding of zero. Uh, overflow uh, the content to like hide the content. And let's see what that looks like for the moment. Um, and basically what you could uh, easily do, I'm using padding on the header. Uh, here we go here. Yeah, I'm giving a padding of 35 pixel top and bottom. What you could easily do yourself is um, basically make this a fixed height, but the way I wanted to do it is just use padding for some reason. Um, okay, so if we refresh this here. Okay, so when we scroll, it adds the class to um, hide and the header kind of works, kind of doesn't. Uh, so the reason why it doesn't like, fully work and um, we're moving the padding and we're giving it an overflow because if we didn't use the overflow tag um, element, the logo would be out here. So we want everything hidden. Um, the next thing we need to do is give it a element of transform because we right now we're going to scroll it up, make it nice and um, smooth with the transform 3D function and make it 50 pixels from the top. So now if we have a look at it again and we scroll down, cool. But it just kind of pops in, pops out. Mm, we can do better. So what we want to do in our CSS um, on our header, on our global header, <coughs> excuse me, we can give it a transition all um, make it 350 milliseconds and now it will make it nice and smooth cool so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video